Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to teach you how to downgrade your GTA 4 and get this electric train route and teach you guys how to get multiplayer working. So, I've been inspired by Cat's Mega Rules Guide on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description for the links I'm going to use and just sub to him. So, um, right now first, we you have to make sure you have to make sure you have a file archiving program like 7 Zipper WinRare. You can use whatever one you like, as long as you can open a RAR files. You need to make sure your game is not installed in a system folder. To, so to make sure of that, right click your game on Steam, click manage, and then browse local files. And then when you go in, click this. And then if it's in program files, a program files x86 folder, that means it's in a system folder. And um, to move it, just click Steam in the top left, click settings, and click Steam library folders, and then add library folder. If it says the, gl um, the error saying, like, you can't be on the same drive or something. Um, um, there's this GitHub link that you can go to, and then you can get a tool that allows you to do it. It worked for me because I got the error, so it should work for you. So now that's that done, we have to downgrade the radio. So to do that, um, there's a file here, a new radio downgrader. You just go on that, and then download it, and then extract it. I'll just extract it here. I'll just delete this one. Actually, just, I'll just open it. So you'll see um, install.bat, this exe, and then um, there's these. These, this is, these are all you need right now. I'll talk about I'll talk about what these are right now. So when you open download the radio, because the radio is honestly kind of garbage in GTA 4, the new one at least. This is why you need to downgrade it. So with the new downgrade, there's a new and old one. With the new one, there's like and two issues where, for example, maybe Nico's in a taxi and then he's like, yo, like, switch it to, like, Vice City FM, but, like, you want, you pick, like, Independence FM, and it wouldn't say Independence FM, you'd say Vice City FM, so you basically say the wrong one. And then you can't switch to Independence FM in multiplayer lobbies, honestly, you really don't, like, I really don't care about those, so I just get the new one. Because the old one is missing, like, four radio stations. I forgot which ones, but it's missing four radio stations. So first, drag, um, these four files into your main directory. Ignore these, like, with folders, just, uh, extract all the other ones. Then just drag them in your directory. I'm not, um, I'm not gonna do that, because I already did it. Well, like, here, when you... Yeah, just, just do it. Just extract them and then click replace and then run install.bat. Which is this thing right here. So when you're done that, there's a file called with new Vla Vladivostok and then without new Vladivostok. Basically, Vladivostok means with the new garbage music in the newer version. And the other one means without it. So I really hate that garbage music, so I'm honestly just going to do the other one. I mean, without new Vladivostok. So I'm just you just open that. Pick whatever you want and then drag it into your main directory, replacing when you're asked to. So we now we have downgraded the radio. So now we need to downgrade our game. There's a game downgrade here. If that link doesn't work, just go to the mirror link. And now just extract it. I'm just gonna delete these. So just extract it. It has the multiplayer thing, but we're not gonna mess with that right now. It's just extracting. We'll use that later. So if you do downgrade here, uh, make sure to run this EXD just in case, because sometimes uh, it won't work, but you have to run it. So I'm going to run that right now. So just run that. Yes. And just go through with the install. I'll see you guys after this. So when that's done, so this is where you're going to have to make a choice. So 1080 has doesn't have many, much mod support. And um, and it's good for people that have over 2 gigs of VRAM. But there's a rare glitch that 1080 runs way worse than 1070. So um, for this video, I'm going to do 1070, but you can pick whatever you want. So just um, whatever version you go into, just um, go into that folder and then just drag everything into your main directory. Replace when you asked to. So when that's done, um, you're gonna when you launch the game, it might be really loud, and if that's the case, just uh, open Windows, just go on volume, 
mixer options. Oh, sorry. Volume mixer mixer options. This is it. Let's open that. Sorry, it's taking a while. And then you'll see like the apps. You'll see GTA 4. You can just put it down as much as you want. If it's normal, then you'll find. Because honestly, when I downgraded my game, I didn't get it. Like, I, it wasn't loud. So um, you can now just test your game. See if it's loud. Oh. So, when that's done, you, you should go press Control shift escape to open your task manager. It'll open this. It'll look like this by default, then just click more details. Then go on options. Make sure to click this, because if you're going to be doing like any general modding, honestly, for any game, it's good to have this on, because then, for example, maybe your um, game froze, and you can't move your mouse or anything. You just press Control shift escape and then use your arrow keys to move, and then press delete to close the nap. So, for example, I'll close, like, I don't know, just... I'll close... I don't know, but you can you just um, press delete and close something. Okay, that can be anything. And then now, uh, there's some issues. If you're running to any issues, make sure to just watch this video. He um, does a lot of stuff. So now we're going to do DXPK. Actually, wait, guys, I'll be back. Okay, so now we're going to do some performance optimization. So, um... Something you could do is, if you get an infinite loading screen or invisible world, make a command line.txt file and then just open it up. And then you could put your, um, as you can see, cast my guru's video. He, um, he put um, dash available vidmem and then I think um, two zero, I think 4096 is the max, so I guess you could put that, but um, I honestly didn't mess with that because I don't think I'll get that. But I did um, put th these because I don't really want. Because sometimes they reset my resolution, and sometimes they just don't let me change my graphic settings. So I'd recommend these. You just look at that. Just save it. So now, we're going to do some perf performance optimization. For DXVK, it is the best one so far. But you cannot use ENB. So what can I understand from DXVK is, it basically creates a shader cache. So that your game doesn't have to load the shaders every time. So it just makes it more optimized because he doesn't have to load the shaders every single time you launch the game. But for DX Wrapper, I don't really understand it. I just know it works with EMB. So if you want EMB, go for DX Wrapper. If you want DXBK, go for DXBK. Sorry, guys, wait, so um, if you're using DXBK, so you can just go to the um, GitHub and then get this file right here. And then um, just open it up. Um, first, you're going to have to extract the first one. And then you're going to have to extract another one, another folder in the folder. So just open that x32 and then select these two files and then just drag them into your main directory. And that's how you get DXVK. I really don't know what to do for DX wrapper. So um you like yeah, you you can just look at um Cast My Heroes video for that. And if you need more performance thing, there's this blog that's pretty good. So after all that and by the way, you can't use DXBK and DX Wrapper at the same time because it can make your whole computer crash. So, um, yeah, it's not a good idea. Okay, so, um, okay, wait, oh wait, I have to actually edit something in my, um, command line. I'm just gonna put, uh, dash windowed. I just like doing that. Okay, so I'm actually gonna, um, launch my game from playgtfe.exe. Or you can run it from Steam, but I'm just going to do it from there. So, so I'm playing Okay, so I'm I just want to, yeah, as you can see, it makes a play GDIV DXPK cache, so it doesn't have to load the shaders every time. So now it'll load the game. Now, if I, now that I put my resolution in there, it should just keep it that resolution, which is for, for, um, 3840 by 2160. I think it's windowed as... Oh, but never mind, I went to full screen. I think it's because I put my resolution. So if you run it from the file, it's not going to have the Steam over, really. 
So you could just run it from Steam. So if it's downgraded, you'll see live and stuff, and you'll see this. So you'll know you succeeded. So if you go to options, graphics. Oh, sorry. Let me just. I'm just going to fix that. There we go. So I'm going to teach you guys what graphic settings are best. So for shadow quality, don't put this up to like very high. It's very unstable. I recommend maybe like medium or high at the least, maybe like high. For water quality, I'd recommend setting it to low because you're literally never in the water in GTA 4. I don't understand why would you put this up to high. You're literally never near the water. Reflection resolution, you, um, it's pretty good. Texture quality, I would keep high. And resolution is whatever your resolution is. If you think I would turn off in the view distance, you could just like maybe the max, oh, not 100, maybe like. 33 would be good, and then for detail distance, at least 33. Vehicle density, yeah, I'll honestly just all put these to like 33, all of them. Just apply it. So, um, now I'm gonna click on my game. I just want to test it. So, you can either get a save game from gtasaves.com, which is what I did, but or you can downgrade your save, which is what I'm going to try doing, actually. Sorry about this, it's pretty laggy. Um, yeah, there's GTA SNP, which basically downgrades your saves. So your saves, I think, are, um, if you go to your local disk here, I think they're in, uh, documents. They should be, uh, Rockstar Games, GTA 4. Wait. Oh wait, I'm sorry, wait, you press Windows R, and type this in percent, update percent, and press OK. Then just go a, a folder back, go to local, then find Rockstar Games. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to find it. Sorry guys. Okay, I'll be right back when I find it. Okay, so when you find it, just um, just um, it should be Rockstar Games, GTA 4, save games, and then dead code. Then it should be this. This is your save game. Then you just go on that website I told you about, um, GTA SMP. And then you just drag your save in there. Then it'll upload. And then click, um, yeah, you know, I don't think you need to downgrade, so you can just click whatever, whatever slot you want. I'll put it in, uh, put it in slot two. Then you'll get it here. Then you can just open that. Then just uh, drag it instead of your um, other one. It should work. Or you can get a save game from um, GTA Save Games, which uh, is actually actually easier than that. So you just go on GTA 4 and then go on Saves. Then you just go to a mission that you, th that you are on. For example, um. You can go on, uh, let me see, go on wrong is right here, then it'll download in a few seconds. I'll teach you guys how to, if you guys are going to use this, I'll teach you guys how to set it up. So you just click download. So you'll get this, just um, go to your downloads folder. Oh, sorry, it's a zip file. So um, you just have to get an extract the zip file. Then this is what you need. Um, so I actually have to find, <laughs> I think I have to Windows R and then just go back here. 
map data, local, then you'll find Rockstar Games. If you scroll all the way down, just be a bit up here. Rockstar Games, GTA 4, save games, use your dead code. So, here, you just delete everything in here, then just drag this in. Actually, yeah, I'll probably honestly just you do this, because it's way easier. So you can just delete this now. You honestly don't need it anymore. I don't need DXBK or this. Okay. Um, keep this file. Don't delete the downgrade file. You're going to need it later. If you're going to do, do multiplayer, at least. Okay, so now, this is the whole reason I actually did this video. Because someone commented. Slickus Trainer. Slickus Trainer is, like, one of the most advanced GTA 4 trainers I've ever seen. <laughs> it's really good. Like, look at all this. Like, my god, does it have some features. Like, guys, I can't I can't even read them all. Like, this is, it's too good. So, I'm um, just, um, download it. It'll, it's only like a four megabyte file. It's not that big, so you can just get it. All right. So when that is done, you can just uh, I'm just gonna close this. There we go. Z menu. You can just extract that. So um, if you need parachute support, VR support, ASI loader, if you're not using, you don't really need ASI loader since you did the downgrade. So don't worry about that. So, um, now just drag these two files in your main directory. That's it. And so, um, I think there's, um, oh yeah, it's multiplayer, sorry. So, um, this is an older version of the trainer. If the, if it, this takes, like, tanks your FPS, there's an older version of the trainer. So, for multiplayer, very good question. So, now open that downgrade, and then run GTA Connected Installer.exe. Click Next. Next. Keep it the, um, the default or else it might cause issues. Press install. And then um, I'm just gonna start it. So now I'm press tools, um, launcher settings, then put your um, name there, and then press tools, game settings, then find your exe path here. So if you click browse here, so mine would be in local C, GTA 4, just the maps, common. If you don't see your executable, just press all files. Current file 4. Then it would be, I think, GTA VIXE. Let me double check it real quick. Clear it back. So um, it is um, GTA VIXE. So it's going wherever your directory is. And then just click GTA VIXE and then press open. Then that'll be where your directory is. And then there's some like bug fixes here. If you have any bugs, you can try this. There's Discord rich presence, which I recommend because then people can join you. You can disable story mode or enable it. Console, initial screens, it might cause instability. Then it's all this. Honestly, I'm not going to go through all these. Then this is GTA 4. You can do it for 3, Vice City. I would honestly recommend GTA 4 though. Oh, there's some new servers here actually. So we usually go on. There's actually a GTA V online community called the IV Online Club made by Internet Rob. We usually go on here um 7 p.m. UK time, which is, um I don't know, you can just search up what that is in your time zone. I'm not in UK, so it's like it's like 2 p.m. for me. So, um yeah. So now, um I have some more optimization things you guys can do just in case. So just go into your directory and go to PC and then go to stream.i9. Change all these numbers. They're usually, I think, like something. I don't know. Just change it to 409600. And then, um, yeah, the trainer. I'll actually show you guys the trainer right now. So, um, I'm going to be launching it from, um, playgw.exe. So I'm just going to just make a desktop shortcut for it. Just launch it from my desktop. Then it'll launch. Because um, GTV is DRM free, so you don't need something like Steam to run it. You can if you want. But honestly, I really don't care about the Steam overlay that much, so I just play it DRM free. So when you launch the game, you press play. And um, you could, I'll show you the guys the trainer. 
I, th I think it works in EFLC too. You can try it out. I think it should work in EFLC. I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard it does. So just let this load. So, if you're using DXUK, you actually have to play the game for a while to build up that shader cache. It it'll fix stuttering, so you might experience some stuttering. But if you if you play, just go around the map and stuff, and then it'll probably fix it. As you can see, that save I used worked. So you press F7 here, and you'll have the menu. You do numpad to navigate. For example, I'll go on misc, first person. I can do first person, as you can see, it's working. It's not the best, but hey, like, it's a mod. Honestly, it's good for what it is. There's object spawning, like, man, there's like, man, this trainer is absolutely, like, insane, dude. Okay, so yeah, I, I am having a bit of stuttering. I, I actually, it gets fixed, um, after. So, I actually just use the, um, built-in FPS counter here, so, still pretty much display. This is what I use. Instead of the Steam thing. But yeah, as you can see, it's working really well. You, you will get bad FPS at the start. If you don't, well then, that's good. But yeah, you will have to go around the map with DXPK. If you're using DX Wrapper, I don't think you have to worry about it. But with DXPK, you'll have to go around the map to fix the stuttering. And I will show you some of the options of the trainer. So for example, there's v Spawn. Spawn Cars. Uh, all car models, spawn it. I don't know what I just spawned. Okay, I'm gonna get out of first person. First person. Oh, sorry. There we go. Okay, apparently I just spawned an ambulance. But yeah, as you can see, it will stutter. You will have to play a game for a while. It will fix it, like it fixed it for me. So just don't worry about it if your game is um, still running horribly wrong. And if you do run into issues, look at that Cat's Back Hero guy I told you about. He's really, he's a cool guy. For some epic GTA War videos. So, um, now I'm actually going to show you guys the online. So, I'm going to quit this. And then I am just going to run um, GTA Connected, which I do not know where it is. <laughs> I think I should, I think... I don't want to run the installer. Okay, the, there, I can just run it from here. But if, if you do want a um, desktop shortcut, I think you can press tools and then just desktop shortcut. It'll create a desktop shortcut for you. There we go. So, you could. I've never actually tried this, San Andreas. I've heard it's terrible, so just honestly stick with GTA 4. Everyone uses this for GTA 4. So, you could. You, to connect to the server, you just right click and then connect. And um, it will launch. It will launch in windowed mode because in the command line we put it to windowed. You can just fix that by changing the resolution. Just go to options, graphics, or it's at 800 by 600. You can just change it here to uh, whatever your resolution is. There you go. Oh, is that 14? I think that's 1420p. Okay. Sorry, I just can't see that well. <laughs> There you go. Just apply that. It might appear stretched. Just go back, back, and then it'll be fine. So, for some reason, it doesn't go into full screen for me. I have to actually disable my taskbar for some reason. So, I just go into taskbar settings. If it's the same thing for you, just do what I'm doing. It works. Just do automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode. Then you should just not see it. You should just go into full screen. So, and then click start. That'll bring you to the lobby. So then it'll say launching loading GTA connected. Then it'll put you in game. So you might go into this and there's no one there, and so there's four people. So you have to open your phone and go to multiplayer, go to games, and custom match. And then um, you'll see them there. And then you just click this, then you'll join it. 
do a load. Or you can chill in that, like, um, free roam session. But I would recommend just going to the game session, because that's where everyone plays. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I guess they don't want to kick me, but yeah, that's how it works. Okay, so... Oh, did, what just... Did, what? Where am I? <laughs> I don't understand this. Okay, um... But yeah. Wait, what? Police station? Okay, I, I don't know. Never mind all this. But yeah. So you just, yeah, you just do what I did there. So now I'm just gonna quit here. So yeah, guys. That is my tutorial. Actually, it's, honestly, it's not really mine. I just... just <laughs> Please don't hate me, Casper, Ruin, Internet, Rob. Honestly, I just like GTA 4. So, um... You can honestly just delete all these now. <laughs> you don't need them anymore. So, to the person that commented saying... If that menu worked on multiplayer, I have a new tutorial for you. For the menu, but you know, I don't. I think you already downgraded the game if you asked. It was in multiplayer, so for the other people that did have downgraded the GTA 4 and have it, and yeah, I think you could launch it from Steam. I might, I think, but if it doesn't work, just just um create a shortcut for playgtp.exe. It's the same thing. You could just enable that built-in FPS counter. Actually, you might be able to add that. Like, you might be able to add it as a non-Steam game. Let me see. So add a non-Steam game. I think you can... You can also add Grand Theft Auto Connected as a non-Steam game if you want the overlay. I think you'll find it. Here, let me just click browse. It's faster. So then I'll just go on my desktop. Play W.exe. Open. You should just be able to launch it from Steam. You could try that. But, um, yeah. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. Honestly, you, you should, if you don't understand what I'm saying, just go watch Katsumakuru's guide. Probably way better. But hey, I'm just trying. I'm just trying. So um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, tell me in the comments if you if it was good. What feedback I should do, and feel free to be honest. Honestly, I just want feedback on how, what to do better. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.